this shit real I contemplate about how I feel But you make it way too hard to think That this could be what you love for It took a lot of hard shit just to learn how not to break down and stop, babe No matter what I've seen in the past, I won't let it impact so hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Patrika's World. And today in this vlog, I'll be showing you guys how I achieve this blue wig. Cause I, this is the first time trying a colored, blue colored wig. And guys, I'm digging it. Yeah, as you can see, I'm so hyped right now because I, 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 I just don't know how it came out this good, but I love it. Anyways, um, make sure you're, you're, you like comment and subscribe to my channel you know interact guys i'll be in the comment section and so but um yeah just stay tuned and continue watching this vlog to see this whole process you know yeah let me feel myself girl come out we know about Zali. yeah So guys, I'm now in the washroom and this is how it looks thus far. I'm about to wash it out. I don't wash hair in the sink, so. So guys, this is how the hair turned out. Um, you can't really see on camera like that, but I wish you could see like the variation of blue that is in the hair. Like some spots are darker than some um, and stuff. But I think you can only like, you'll see it better in person um the different shades of blue that are uh, that is in the hair but i'm gonna just go ahead flat iron this and then i'll show you guys how it turned out so hi guys i am back and i'm about to install this blue wig that you see in the back here it would be my first time trying a blue wig so I'm pretty excited to see how that gonna turn out. So I washed my hair and moisturized my hair. So it's a, um, my hair is well clean. Now, guys, it's growing so fast. It's been like two months ago I had like a bob cut. And yeah, it's growing really fast. So the noise you're hearing in the background is a fan. It's super hot. Um, so yeah, I have the fan. It's not time for AC, is it? So I just use the fan. But um, watch me install this wig. I'm so excited. Excited. So guys, I'm about to put this wig on. Um, I don't feel like, um, sorry about the fan in the background. It's really hot. And I don't feel like um, braiding my hair. So I'm going to use two wig caps. Normally I buy them by the bulk. So I get them like pack of 30 on Amazon or somewhere there. But that's what I'm going to do. And once it's over my head, then I'll come back to you guys. I'm so excited, guys. Look at the wig. Yo, I'm so excited. Hopefully it fits my color. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> So guys, 
guys off camera I actually went in with my Fenty um, foundation that's what I did and I added just a little bit here it doesn't look that bad but when I put it on and I'll put as much I needed for it to be melted I went ahead and removed this um, stuff it also came with a band and I left it downstairs and I don't feel like going downstairs so I'm gonna just put it on however um without the 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 band i think it was supposed to make it fit like a glueless wig but i don't have time to get up to go downstairs for that right now so i'ma just work with what i have you know oh guys what do you think you think it's gonna fit bad you think it's gonna fit right oh my good I love it so far. Like, baby, like, baby. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'll be right back. Guys, I went ahead and let me zoom in a little bit. Ooh, focus, focus, focus. I went ahead and I cut my ear tabs out. I don't know why it's not focusing. But. Either way, I went ahead and I cut my air tab so that it could lay uh, flat. And this wig is pretty snug. Like I don't, I didn't, I don't need the bands inside for it to fit pretty snug. Okay, so that's a good thing. So I'm about to go lay this lace. Yeah, I'm about to go lay this lace. I'm loving it so far. I think, I think, I think, I think. <laughs> That may I come out? May I go come right out? May not lie. May I come right out, guys? May I come right out? What do you think? Tell me in the comment section before we finish slaying this wig. What you think? You think it's gonna fit me or mm, nah, girl? Color enough for you, blue enough for you. Tell me right now. So, guys, I'm about to use this Erica J glue. Um, it's hold me down adhesive glue, and this one is in watermelon. It smells so good. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I probably just do probably um, like probably two quarts because I don't think I, I, I'm going to keep this on for too long because I have to work it either way. So I don't want to miss work for like um, having to go in person for miss it for like two weeks straight. So I'm going to just do it and probably take it off next week. Um, yeah. That's the plan. Kind of know where I want it to. So guys, I try not to put, I don't want no glue on my edges. If I have to get glue on it, it should be very little. And when I say very little, I mean very, very little. Coat number one, coat number one. Um, I'm gonna let it dry clear first before I start putting the second coat, okay? And you can see it starts like, this side already start drying clear. I could start applying it to this side um, already, but okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and start applying it to the next side. So guys, I, I know I said that I was gonna do two coats, but the air top portion are always harder to like to stay down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another coat at the air top section because I wanna make sure that it, it lays. I don't know why always the hardest part to lay down because it's always start lifting like real quick. I don't know why, but this is how it is guys all clear so now i'm gonna start putting it down guys and then I'll start doing what I need to do 
like cut the lace and let me make sure it's blending in so i'll come back in a second i'm gonna listen to some music ick, ick, and then i'll come back so guys this is how it looks i'm trying to zoom in so you could see how it looks it kind of looks a bit white but don't worry i'll fix that i'm gonna fix that Okay, I use this to cut it off. So guys, I'm back. Um, my um my lace is melting, and I'm just gonna do a soft glam. I was supposed to go out tonight, but rain, and I decided to change my mind. I was supposed to go for dinner tonight, but anyways, I'm just gonna do a soft glam, and just to finish this look up. I already did my brows off camera and I'm just going to norm um just put on some makeup normally I'll prime and do all that when I'm doing my makeup because I'm it I'll be out or wearing it for hours because I'm just doing it for this video I'm not even gonna prime I'm just gonna go straight ahead and um I'm just gonna go straight ahead and start applying um foundation and stuff guys as you can see my skin is doing way better than the last time you saw me in the video that was like two weeks ago i had like really bad breakouts and stuff and my face looked horrible now it's kind it's getting under control i have a few breakouts here and there but it's so so much better than where it was like um the last time you saw me in the video so guys i'm trying to find my um makeup and stuff okay so normally in winter, I, uh, I I wear this YSL um, foundation. It's in Mocha B70. That's because I'm much lighter in winter than I'm in summer. So now I'm gonna use this Fenty. I went and got this Fenty Pro Lift Filler. Um, this is 410, and I yeah, this should do me throughout um um throughout the entire winter but yeah hold on guys i'm trying to get set up okay yeah probably just um correct some a few spots that i have not a lot because i don't really care for that i just want to when i do picture or you know a video it doesn't really show up that much in it but yeah i'm not really doing a full 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 glam just something like that's all but yeah guys i wanted to talk to you about um because since like since my trip to jamaica in december i've been like i miss i realized that I, I missed it so much that even when i was talking to my cousin i was like maybe i would move back to jamaica but then another time i'm like okay the convenience and stuff when it comes on to like health gear and stuff um pay of course you know that i recently got my masters and stuff so i need like companies need to be paying me a lot and so, guys i saw that with the i saw that um i saw that in you know i forgot something downstairs but i'm not going downstairs i saw that the government you see how much they're paying there guys if i could get a government job i'm good i, I i'll probably consider to move back i don't know if i could get a job that could pay me like um 300k <laughs> every two weeks not a month every two weeks then maybe maybe i'll consider that and i'll continue coming up like you know to do shopping and stuff but i, I don't think i'll like probably stay there forever because i did not probably get bored and just i want to come back but guys but guys i don't know you see the thing with foreign is that it's like a never-ending cycle it's just the same thing you do the, the only way you can enjoy yourself here basically is by going out just not on going out you know when you're Jamaica, you can just get up in the yard I you sit down and you enjoy yourself with um with family and friends right at your yard, you know? It's too, sometimes when you can't just sit down upon the road or upon the roadside and when you just sit down and a drink and when you, when you enjoy yourself regardless, right? 
but here you definitely have to get up put on makeup get dressed and you have to go somewhere whether to the movies to dinner or you know to happy hour or something you always have to go some guys i have to hurry up because the um the light is going down and i have to set up the ring light and stuff but but guys like yeah i have hold on so it's much better now because i got my ring light um but yeah but i was saying guys like here it's just like a never ending cycle like you get up every day go to work come home it's the same thing over over and over like it's a never ending cycle um and sometimes i get really tired of that like tell you guys i'm just doing i'm not doing nothing too much just want to you know do a little something something but yeah i get tired of that i get homesick and remember how i you know could enjoy myself especially the trip that i did in december guys my camera keep running out of memory because i order a memory card on amazon it's not gonna come until sunday so i keep having to delete footage from my camera and stuff but i was saying yeah i get homesick and ha I, I get tired of having to get up dress up and having to go out to enjoy myself i mean i can't enjoy i normally enjoy my own company at home like i'll play music i'll drink and stuff but sometimes you just want to have some little extra fun and you know and stuff like that but um yeah i get tired of it having it's just like especially in new york it's just it's just like every time it's always just like work 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 non-stop work and go home sleep work go home sleep work it's just like yeah i don't know i get tired of that i get tired of that but yeah for those who are in the u.s who are from jamaica how do you guys feel like do you get homesick um or whatever yeah let me know how you guys are give me one second i gotta wet my wet my bra my stuff yeah oh guys i didn't show you that to do my contour i use the fenty um cont um fenty beauty contour stick this is in, is in espresso i have another one but i use this in winter when i'm much lighter and i don't need such a dark um dark contour and this one is truffle but now i'm using espresso you know because in winter um summer or whatever i normally t i tend to get a bit darker as i told mentioned before but yeah guys what you guys think like i get homesick i really get homesick and i did not want to i just want to go home I just want to go back that's the thing but then I, I don't think that even if I go back I think I, I want to go back to say to be there I think if I spend like a couple months there I'm probably gonna be like okay I want to come back home here but I just want to have the luxury the convenience of have I, I could have going whenever I want which I can't go whenever I want because of work and of course jamaica needs money you know so i definitely have to work in order for me to afford jamaica you know but yeah just just my thought guys i get really sometimes i get real i feel like before i went on my jamaica trip in um for those who have follow me on instagram by the way go and follow me on instagram if you haven't followed me at patrika underscore official it should be in the description box um but before i went to jamaica a lot of people i, I used to post on my story like you know i need a definitely a, a, a trip to jamaica will definitely fix a lot of stuff and that was because in winter you're so i'm in new york for those who don't know and so in winter you don't really go anywhere and even if you even if i go upstairs and i look out through the window like you're not seeing anybody on the street nobody walking nobody nothing only time you'll see someone 
is if they're walking their dog and stuff and I get like I was so depressed because I feel so depressed because I'm like you're not seeing anybody you're just in the house it is so cold and um yeah and I was like you know what I took the Jamaica to fix everything and then when I went to Jamaica guys I definitely realized it's the US because immediately as I went to Jamaica it was like where all that stress and all that feeling of depression and all that everything where everything just magically went away magically went away so yeah it's just the, the u.s man i mean people that jamaica when they come off firing before they I, I would really want them to have the ex get the experience of coming here and living here and experiencing what we experience or whatever because sometimes you we put up people you store your instagram and people will be like yeah blah 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 they have a lot to say and that's just because they have never like lived within the u.s but let me tell you it rough me i tell you i mean uh, apart from you being were able to work and affording the things that you want you know which is definitely a must you know but i don't know i have a love hate relationship with it or maybe it's just new york in general or maybe it's just new york i probably need to um probably go somewhere else and try probably on like another state and try to and see how that work works out you know but for you those who are in the u.s how do you guys feel i don't know why i damped this brush i don't want it to be damped yeah how do how do you guys feel guys i'm don't i'm just like this is just my quick makeup routine like nothing drastic you know nothing drastic i don't know why it looks like that on camera but so sad it's out don't worry so sad it's out but yeah for those who are in the u.s what you guys think what you guys think let me know or how you guys let me know how you guys feel about it i'm gonna use this fenty foundation in shade 385 this is how it looks yes because i'm not as i told you i'm just doing whatever you know but yeah that's what i wanted to ask you guys about uh, I probably just need to go and spend like probably like a month there and then <laughs> come back and then I think I'll be good guys I left so many stuff downstairs normally I'll have like um normally I would have like I wash in my makeup bag but I think I bought got a pack and they have like i think like 20 pairs i think i probably left it is downstairs and i feel like mm, let's see guys no so sure i make it nowhere so if you look crazy right now on the camera don't worry here don't worry so we're showing you something Normally, if I'm going out, this is not my regular, this is not my routine. This is not my routine. Guys, so I'm going to drop some topic. next For the next video, you guys could drop some topic in the comment section um, that you would like me to talk about. Um, yeah. Alright, for the more story time. 
if you haven't watched my story time go watch it it's the video before this one i had i, I told some stories about when i was growing up in jamaica so if you haven't watched that please to go watch that okay or maybe for the next video um i could do like a get to know me where you guys um, ask your questions and then I'll answer it in the video. What do you guys think? We could do that, but please not get too personal. Cause more the video fee flow as much as possible. And if you get too personal, some of the questions them I won't answer. So yeah, ask question that you know you think I would answer. You know. You understand? Please come see. But yeah, girl, no sir, uh, guys. Smell look very washed out. I don't know why. Maybe I need some sun. Honey, I need some sun, honey. <coughs> but yeah. Guys, I'm just gonna put some little black something under my eye this song. And then I probably go get the lashes. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Because at this point, I feel like made us a ramble with you know, made us a ramble along. I didn't really have a topic. I just wanted to talk to you guys. Simple. I'll be back. So guys, I'm back. Sorry about the fan in the background, but this is the finished look. You know, I got all cute and dressed up to stay in the house. Yeah, let me show you my dress. So basically, this is my dress that I have on in the house. And yeah, guys, I don't know why it looks like it has a white cast here. But in person, there's none. That's how it looks. So cute. See how it looks. But yeah, I love it. It looks so cute. Oh my god, I'm still recording on my phone. It looks so cute in person. It's just like, oh girl, you did that. You did that. Like, I mean, come on. I did that. I did that. I honestly, I don't know that this blue here would have fit me this well. To say that it's the first time I'm trying it, I actually love it. I love it. Hmm. I love it, guys. I love it. I really do. I really do. Yeah. So, that's it for the, the vlog, guys. That's it for the video. Um, thank you for tuning in and staying in strength. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see me do more vlogs or more videos like this. Um, and again, I appreciate all of you that have been supporting me, watching my video, or leaving a comment, or even a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So, yeah, until next time, bye.